Hey guys, it's the Bling Gypsy, and today we're going to be going over uh, part two of getting ready to go on Comet Sold. Um, so before you go on Comet Sold, you need to make sure that all your inventory is tagged. Um, every piece needs to have its own unique number, okay? So I'm going to start off with my rings. So you can see I have this thread holder. It holds 120 threads, which means there's 120 rings on here. I'm going to be getting a second one to put over here. Um, and um, then I have just the men's bracelets and some necklaces down here. But this is how I do my rings. I got these. These are uh, binder rings. They open and close. They are a half inch. I got a hundred of them from Amazon. I think they were like $12. Okay. And they fit perfectly on the rings. These here are gift tags. Um, they're twice as wide. I cut them in half and then I just punch a bigger hole there. And you can see all my rings have an R and a number. So right now I go R1 to R120 <clears throat> because there's 120 slots right here. Okay. So this ring or each ring will keep this number until it's sold out now this is not the number that common sold is going to use but this is your inventory location number everything needs to have a location number okay um, for the bracelets I use the uh, one inch rings but honestly you could probably get away with the half inch rings I only got the half inches for the rings because they were way too big and I just put it through because you're not allowed to put a hole or anything. So I just use the hole that they already have on the tags. Now, when you barcode your items, <clears throat> make sure that you are not covering up any of the wording that paparazzi has um, because that is against compliance. So I put my inventory or location number um, with a Garby gun, which is a price gun up there, and then my barcodes here. Now, just recently, I switched to these because that way when I go to a vendor event, I don't have to come back and try and match up tickets with items. These are permanently attached. And then also that way when I'm at a vendor event and I sell this item, I can just keep this tag, not the paparazzi one. Um, I throw it in a little container and then when I get home, I remove all these items, scan them and remove them from the system. Okay. Um, same thing with the necklaces. I did not use the rings though on the necklaces because they wouldn't fit on the peg with the ring, with the binder ring. So I found these tag threads. Um, they snap in right here. I'll show them to you in just a second. And I just kind of looped it through there so that it's reusable. Okay. Um, so I'll show you how I did that in just a few minutes. And that's also how I did my earrings. So these earrings will keep this number, 1154, until this earring is sold out and then eventually I will re reuse 1154. And I use that same thread tag. So all my new stuff is not gonna have barcodes on the bottom anymore. It's gonna have it on the tags, okay? These were just already barcoded. Um, so as you can see, I use the uh, one inch ring binder there and everything has a tag now especially for the vendor events. This one was a one and done, so it doesn't have a location number, but it does have a barcode so that I can remove it from the inventory, okay? All right, so this is how I have my inventory set up on these. These are um, stainless steel shelves that I got from Walmart, and I put the pegboard on the front of them. And I actually pegboarded both sides, so eventually I'll be using the other side as well. Um, and these are locking J hooks that I got from Amazon. You can get them in bags of 100, 200, or 300, um, and they work pretty well. Okay, so if you come around here, you can see I've got all my stuff stored away here. So this is a good way to do your inventory because mine's in the living room without putting holes in your walls. So if you don't want to put your bag pegboard on the walls this is a good way to do it these are on wheels so they roll so I can turn them around if I need to and then back here I've got these uh, Dollar Tree bins I have a 15 foot wall here so I've got 288 of them these are for my regular items and then if you go back here I got these smaller bins from uh, Harbor Freight 
There is 20 in a box and they were like 10 bucks. These are a dollar a piece, okay? These um, labels I bought from Amazon, they came in a roll. However, I just discovered if you have a Dymo label, I could have made them myself, which I do, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, so if you have a Dymo label, then you can just print these out yourself. Um, I just didn't want to have to keep changing the number, but I figured out a way to do it without having to change the number. So all of my overstock goes here. So if I sell an item, let's say I sell 1152, then I would just come here and pull 1152, which as you notice, it's also numbered with the Garby gun and barcoded, okay? Because you will need those barcodes. Paparazzi does have their own barcodes, but they do not work for um, fulfilling an order. They work for checking in, but for some reason they do not work for fulfilling an order. Um, so I just go ahead and print labels on these as well. Okay, so everything is in bins, all my overstock. All right, so we are gonna go back over here to my desk and I'm gonna show you all the items that I use. All right, so these are the thread holders, tag holders. Um, let me see if I can get this tripod to work. Hold on a second. Bear with me. I'm going to see if I can tripod this so that I don't have to hold it. There we go. Alright. Okay, so these are the thread holders that I got um, from Amazon. Okay. And they are not reusable. Once you click them, they are in there. Okay. So I needed something reusable. So what I do is I click them and then let's say this is the tag. I just feed them through here. Okay. And then if this was the earring, I feed it through the earring and then loop it through. So that way when I'm at a vendor event and I sell this piece, all I gotta do is take this tag off. See, it's just looped through there. And then I keep this tag when I get home, I scan this item out that it's sold, okay? So I'm gonna loop this back through just so I can show you. So there it is. And then I loop it through here, through the front. Sorry, my dog is barking and it just hangs there, okay? All right, so these threads came in a pack of 1,000, okay? They were like under eight bucks, okay? They come in white or black, I chose black. Um, these are the half inch ring binders that I use for the rings, and they do open. So these are totally reusable. So I use these, the half inch for the rings and these are the one inch i use for everything else like the bracelets the urbans uh, those work really well um, and then these are the gift tags these come in a pack of 200 for like eight bucks and what i do is i cut it right here show you real quick i cut this off And then I cut them in half. And then I take my hole punch and punch a hole. And there's your tag. I was using the full tag, but honestly they were too big. And I will include all the links for all these items in the video. Okay, so that is pretty much what I use. Um, and like I said, everything has a number, which you can create on your Dymo printer. And then this barcode is generated by Comet Sold. This is what you scan when you go live, and that is what creates the overlay on the top of your live, which I can show you really quickly. Alright, 
So if I go to my Facebook, sorry guys, this is the scanner, by the way. You will need to purchase a scanner for Comet Live. Okay, so if I go to my Facebook, and go to my business page, I'm going to show you the last live that I did. I'm going to try and get this closer. You can see it a little better. I'm going to turn this light off. Okay, yeah, that's better. Okay, so um, if you go to the live, my chair here. All right, guys. So if you go to my live, and I'm going to zoom in on it. You look right there on the top see it says comet by 100 and it shows a picture in that circle on the top right and then it says five dollars underneath it so every time I show an item I'm gonna open this up so you can see it okay there we go so I'm gonna try and fast forward a little bit I have the sound turned off. Okay. Okay, so every time I show an item, it gives it a number up here. And this is what your customer needs to put in to claim an item, and it will put it in their virtual shopping cart. You no longer have to invoice, guys. Okay, so every time they put buy space and a number, it puts that item, if it's still available, in their shopping cart. You can see the picture and you can see the price okay and it also shows you your total viewers on there okay so they create that overlay all you got to do is you pick up an item you scan it on that scanner or any scanner that you're going to use which we're going to talk about scanner options um, i will include the scanner option this scanner in the uh, link um, but every time you show an item it is giving it a number I'm going to fast forward. You can see this item is number 115. It's $5. There's a picture of it right there. And then your total viewers. Now, here's the thing. Um, when you are live, you don't see any comments on your phone anymore. You have to have your computer near your uh, stand for your phone. Okay? Because that's where your comments are going to be on the computer. They actually have an app and it links to the uh, computer. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, let me zoom back out. I'm gonna show you how to enter some items. And I apologize, I'm trying to do the best I can with this tripod. So, when you go to Comet Sold, okay, this is your main page, okay, see this shows that um, for month to date is 61.17 and $60 is still pending, that's not paid for. This down here shows you your latest comments and see how it says in cart right there, okay? Um, but to enter an item, you go over here to where it says, right there it says product. So you're gonna click on product, 
okay so when you first start with comments sold you're gonna have to find and enter every single item that you have that's gonna take the most time guys um, but once you get your items in it is so easy um, so if you have the packages that's great because you can just scan it um, and enter it um, but otherwise you got to go looking through your old orders and find the name and the description and the, the uh, pictures from paparazzi okay so what I do is I'm gonna open up another tab which is a little plus sign and I'm gonna go to my paparazzi and let's just say this is my last order okay this is a small order but that's okay so let's just say I just ordered this item okay I've already entered all my inventory which that's what's going to take you the most time but if you just ordered these items okay which I've already inputted these but I'm going to try and do it again just to show you okay so I just ordered these items I want to input them I input them as soon as I order it I don't put any quantities until they physically get here but I do input them in the system and I'll tell you why because you can post them on your Facebook and have people comment sold on them and it will put it in their wait list once the items come in then it will once you put in your quantities it will take whoever's on your wait list and put those items in their cart first okay so first come first serve so what I do is I will click on the item and guys you literally copy and paste this okay so you're gonna go from one tab to the other here's your comment sold tab and here's your paparazzi tab so you're gonna click on comment sold over here you'll see a green button that says add product okay so you're going to add the product and you are literally going to oops wrong one sorry go back to your paparazzi I copy the title or the name of the product and I go here to comment sold and I paste it under product name you're going to paste that there okay you are your cost is 275 I already got my cost in there so I just double click and pick the cost and then your retail five dollars the first time you have to type it in but after that you can just click and it, like, select it and then I copy the description go back to comment sold paste it okay and then your product number I use the paparazzi inventory number Okay, just the number, not the number sign, not the item number. And I paste it in the product SKU. Okay, and I'll show you where you're going to put your numbers. All right, so then the only other thing you have to put is in here where it says collections. Now you have to create these collections, and we'll go over that in a different video. But once you've created the collections, you can select which collection this goes in so this is a bracelet so you would select bracelet and then you would hit add product okay now this product's already in the system so I'm not going to do that but I'm going to show you once you hit add product let's just say it was this item it will take you from this page where you've entered all the information to this page where you need to add the picture okay so to do that all you gotta do is click on this picture here okay not the one down here I'm sorry no I'm wrong this one down here so I always like to use the model picture because it only shows one it does not show multiple pictures um, unless it's hard to see so you click here and you hit OK it's going to download this picture so now I can go here and you go over here where it says upload let's pretend this picture is not here I hit upload and then all of my pictures go into my downloads you can you can set it up however you want and there's that picture I just downloaded so I would click on it hit open and it would add it here but I'm not going to do that because that's not the right product 
So now your picture is here. If you physically have the items, you would go to Edit Inventory page. But if it's a new item, you don't have it yet, then you don't do this step yet. Okay. But let's say now it's come in and I want to add quantities. You hit this plus and you add, let's say you have five of them, then you would add five of them. Okay. Um, and then you would hit update. Because if you have somebody that has it on their waiting list, then you want it to put it in their cart. And if you don't check that, it won't do that. And then you also hit print barcode. Okay. And then you hit add quantities. We're not going to do that. Um, so I have a Dymo label over here. Right there. Um, and that's what it prints. And I went with, um, I think it's half an inch by one and seven eighths. I'll include the link. That was the smallest barcode that I could find, which is that size right there. I know it's hard to see without the light, but that's the size of the barcode. It's half inch by one and seven eighths. Okay, that's the smallest option they have. And I ordered those from Amazon. All right, so when the product comes in, I'm gonna find a better example. Let me find something I have multiples of. Okay, so let's say this is the product. It just came in under edit inventory. This is where you would add that you have two of them. You would update and print labels. And then right here, right here, is where your location that's your bin number you know those green bins that we, sh we I showed you or the gray bins for the rings that's where you would put the location number those are your inventory numbers not the paparazzi numbers so that way when this item sells and I get a pick list because that's what it gives you when an item sells um, it will tell me to go to bin number 1230 to pull this necklace okay so this necklace is in bin 1230. All right, so that's how that works. Now I'm gonna turn this light on so I can show you the barcodes. Okay, so I'm gonna hit product again. And let's say I'm looking for these earrings. I need to make a barcode because if you notice this one, I, I don't have a barcode on yet. Okay, so I would click on where it says quantity one. Okay, and then if you go over here, there's three little dots. Click on the dots. Print tag. Yeah, it's half inch by one and seven eighths. Okay, print tag. It's going to bring up the barcode that I need. And then over here, and each computer is different, but my little printer icon is over here. So I'm going to hit the printer. And then I have to make sure that my Dymo label is selected. Okay, and you might have to go into preferences and make sure it's on portrait and then advance. And then there it is, half inch, one and seven eighths. Mine's already set up, so I don't need to do that. And then it, you tell it how many barcodes you need. I only have one of this earring, so I'm just gonna print one. And I hit print. And there's my label right there. Oh, it gave me two. I think I accidentally had two. So there is my label, my barcode label. I'm just going to peel that off and then I'm going to place it on here. So now when I'm doing a live, I can just go here, close that, hit product. But when I'm, when I'm live, all I got to do is scan this and it will pull up that earring to show to my customers and it will assign it its own number. 
So the way it works on Comet Sold, the first piece you show is number 100, and then it just goes up by one from there throughout the show. Now, next time you do a live, it's in the order that you scan the item, so that number 100 might be something else next time, okay? So that's how that works. Now, I'm going to show you um, when an order is completed, because I actually had a customer pay early today. Okay, so this is an order, and if you look, it says unfulfilled. So what I need to do is, right here where it says packing slip, you click on that, and it's going to show you what your customer bought. This is what they call a pick list, okay? So this tells me where to go to get those items. So I need to go to bin 1273 to get this earring. And I need to go to bin 1202 to get this necklace. Now, obviously, if you go to those bins and it's empty, that means your last one is on your wall. So you're going to pull the one from your wall to fulfill this order. Okay? So in order to fulfill this order, you have to print this out and then scan this barcode and I'll show you where to go. Now, I do it a little differently. I pull it up on my phone because I, I hate wasting paper. I pull it up on my phone and then I scan this barcode from my phone to the scanner here and I'll show you how I fulfill it. So you would go to from order fulfillment to fulfillment. I would then scan the barcode and it would pull up her order and then I would go pull those items and then scan each item and as I scan them it highlights them you'll see her items and it highlights them in green I can't do that because I'm on my phone um, but maybe in another video I'll use my tablet and show you how that works so that way you cannot accidentally give them the wrong item now if they win hostess rewards I do input them and I'll show you because I've created um, items under free. You can see I have hostess rewards in here. So if they win hostess rewards, um, there's no cost. And I have created barcodes to scan. So I have a, a earring, bracelet, ring, all kinds of barcodes for the hostess rewards so if they have a hostess reward on their order you can just scan those out real quickly okay so that's pretty much how it works um, I had a question earlier uh, about how does the overlay get put on there basically ladies the comment soul does that for you so you don't have to do the overlay it does it for you um, and their shopping carts right here okay so if I go to the shopping cart I can see each customer and what they've ordered so far now I invoice every Friday well I I don't really invoice anymore but they have to pay every Friday um, so the whole week it keeps adding to their carts they can choose to cash out tonight which is what one of my customers did or they can choose to let it go until Friday and then pay Friday um, and then if they don't pay by Friday, then you just go right here to the uh, button right here and clear their cart. Um, so that's how that works. If you guys have any questions, comments, concern, please reach out to me. Please make sure you like and subscribe to our video. Uh, please give us some feedback. We love feedback um, and we really, really appreciate it. Make sure you uh, share this video with your team members. Um, hopefully it'll help you out. And there is a previous video that explains a lot more in detail about comments sold and the cost and all that. All right, so this was just a quick um, video of how to get organized and input your items and stuff like that. Um, also, I do want to show you one more thing. Let me get this free out of here. Let's say these are new items and you you want to let your customers know or if you got a, a uh, shipping um, timeline like I have some stuff that's coming Tuesday which I will find really quickly. Actually. 
going on, guys? I'm trying to find it real quick. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know why? Because I've got it in stock. That's why. I need to take that out. There's all kinds of filters that you can put in, by the way. There it is. Okay, so these will be here Tuesday. This one and this one. So, if you go over here to the three dots, this is how you're going to get your pre-claims. Pre um, you can click on these three dots and then click Post to Facebook. Now you have to do each item separately. You can do a group, um, but you have to put numbers on the pictures themselves, which I don't like doing. Alright, so it's pretty much you know, you're going to change it to your, um, mine's the Bling Gypsy, my business page. You, they have everything for you. So you're just going to copy and paste it. And then I, it puts these spaces. So I just take these spaces out. And then I hit enter and then put the description right down here. So it says available for only five dollars to order comment sold okay so what i would probably change this to though because it's not here yet um i would change it to available for only five dollars to pre-order comment sold and then put the description and then you can choose to post immediately or you can schedule it and tell it what day and what time to post it okay we're going to post this immediately and submit to Facebook. So this will take all that information and post it on your Facebook, which I'm going to show you real quick. Close this. Go to my Facebook. And we'll go to the Bling Gypsy, which is my business page. Okay, and here is that bracelet we just posted. Okay. So now any of your customers can go to the comments and comments sold. And if it's if it has a quantity, it will put it in their shopping cart or 